Now let's try this next one here. Once again, we're going to give exact solutions and approximate solutions, so we should have four in the end. First things first, I've got to make sure that it's equal to zero. It is. That's nice. It's equal to zero already, so I can just identify my A, B, and C. I get A equals five, B equals negative two, and C equals negative three. Awesome. Let's start plugging and chugging. Bibbidi bop, just don't stop. So I'm going to plug in my A, B, and C where it needs to go. All right, everything's plugged in where my A, B, and C need to go. Now I can start doing some simplifications. So I have X equals, and a negative negative makes it positive 2 plus or minus the square root of. Now I have negative 2 squared. Well, negative 2 times negative 2 gives me positive 4. Okay, make sure that number is always going to be positive. This number right here will always be positive. All right? Don't worry about that. Make sure that's always going to be positive. Never be negative. If it's negative, you did something wrong. Next one, I have a negative here times a positive times a negative. Well, a negative and a negative gives me a positive, so I know that this is going to be positive. This is what I was talking about in the last video. Don't mess up your signs at this point. Figure out your signs first, and then multiply the numbers. So negative and negative is going to give me positive. Now I'm just going to multiply 4 times 5 times 3. I'm not even going to look at the signs anymore. I've already dealt with my sign. I'm just going to worry about the numbers now. So I have 4 times 5 is 20, times 3 gives me 60. All over, 2 times 5 is 10. Keep moving, I get 2 plus or minus the square root of 64 over 10. Well, I know the square root of 64 is 8. So I'm going to have x equals 2 plus or minus 8 all over 10. All right, well, what's 2 plus 8? That's 10 divided by 10 gives me 1. So x is going to equal 1. And then also I have 2 minus 8, which is negative 6 over 10, which is going to simplify to, well, they're both divisible by 2, so negative 3 over 5. Two exact answers. Well, can I get a decimal approximation for 1? No, not really. And so my approximate answer for that one is already set. And this one over here, it's negative 3 divided by 5. Well, that equals negative 0.6. So I, I really can't round that one either. It's just negative 0.6. So really, I just need these two answers here. No big deal. It's not a repeating decimal or anything like that. And I'm just going to leave it as 1 and negative 3 over 5, or you can even do negative 0.6 right there. But since there's no rounding involved, they're all really exact right here. All right, so these two, that will suffice.